go get him again. What's going on, fragrance family? Welcome to another episode of Sampling Samples Sunday. This series is where I wear Santa as much as a little sample lets me. It is my Santa of the day today. And I'm gonna give you as much detail as I can and give you my final thoughts on if I'll be buying it, getting another sample, or simply this is the end of the road for this particular set. Today's sample is Radio Bombay from the brand of DS and Durga. Now Durga, as you may know, is a brand I've been sniffing a lot lately. I've been buying this scents from this brand like hotcakes. Um, so you're gonna see a lot of fragrances coming through in uh, my videos in the near future of sampling samples and full bottles. Um, so you're gonna see tons of that in the months coming in. So if you like Durga, this is the channel to, to hang on to for the next coming months. You're gonna see a lot of sampling samples, especially in the next coming months. So now let's go under the hood. Let's take a look at some stats on this one. Uh, Radio Bombay was released back in 2016. Concentrations Eau de Parfum. Uh, the Nose is of course the founder and of course the Nose behind the brand, David Maltz. Major notes to my nose, this is a sandalwood based fragrance, but there's a high secondary note, or they're sharing the spotlight, um, is coconut. And of course there's also cedar. Now let's crack this little sample open. There's only a little bit left of my Radio Bombay. And of course it is my scent of the day today. We are going to empty this thing out and let's delve into it. And off the top, Radio Bombay tells me it's a sandalwood heavy scent and it's going after the crown as it is one of the best simplistic sandalwood scents on the market. Now, if you take this scent at face value, I can tell you this, this is a sandalwood based scent and end the review there, but that's no fun. Let's peel some layers here. Now, David's style in Radio Bombay really reminded me of the style of Mr. James Healy here. He paints a picture that seems very simplistic, but that has complexity behind the simplistic idea. So it is sandalwood centric, 100%. You get woods, creamy, lactonic aspects, and it reminds me highly of some of the best in the game, including Tam Dao by Diptyk and Sacred Wood by Killian. So if you know those two, this is right in that alley. I'm very simplistic, soft sandalwood creaminess. It's very simplistic, soft as a woody scent can be, but it has some toughness behind it. It has some Home Depot like cedar that's that never really took charge in the scent, letting the sandalwood do its thing, but giving it some rough and tumble, really woody aspects. There's a tad of balsam fir here to give the scent some greenery. Now coconut comes into play and comes pair with the sandalwood to share the spotlight. The coconut really aids this creamy aspect of this fragrance and gives the scent an interesting addition to not make the scent just a plain woody scent. The coconut to me would be the X factor in the scent. However, the sandalwood is the star of the show. There's a slight powdery aspect from the iris that comes into play more into the heart to add another dimension to the scent. Also get a mildly salty um, quality here that almost, almost kind of brings me to the beach with the coconut pairing and a little bit of that sandalwood kind of can bring you to the beach a little bit, you know, kind of like some, you know, a log of wood sitting on the beach and uh, you have, you know, that coconut smell and of course that, that powderiness um, and a salty aquatic tinge a little bit. So it, it, it it, it doesn't completely bring you to the beach, but it, it, it really toes that line a little bit that it's almost there. Um, the coconut and the sandalwood do play well together in this introduction. So the introduction is very much simplistic sandalwood, but as you can see, there's many layers behind it. I smell a little smoke here, but it's so minor. And I do know that many say they get a copper smell here, hence the radio section of Radio Bombay. I haven't really smelt it in this sampling, sadly, and I know it's a little Lucky Scent sample, so I only got two wearings out of this fragrance, barely. Um, so I didn't really get that edge that people are talking about, like that smoky copper wire uh, smell. There's something there, but it, I, I can't, I don't feel comfortable in this fragrance review saying that it has a copper-like smell. 
Um, I would love an extra layer of uniqueness here because it's a fairly safe scent, but it wasn't there for me. Now to the dry down of this scent, and it doesn't move much, honestly, so there's not much more to add. Um, you lose some of the coconut, but you continue to get that heavy sandalwood that is the backbone of the scent with that cedar and that fur backing it. It's really smooth from top to bottom. It never goes too thick for a woody scent. It, it's really playing that beachy, woody uh, type of smell. It, it's light and it's very much well balanced as a set. Now let's get into Seasons Day Night Versatility Performance. Um, seasons, spring, summer, I feel like summer days, not too warm, but like just a, a maybe a cooler summer day. Summer nights would be do, do very well and the start of fall too. Um, day or night, I feel like this is more of a daytime scent. Versatility is fairly high on this, very safe, easy to wear. Performance, um, longevity a little low, four to seven hours with below average projection. So it's a little light on my skin. Again, it's from a little sample, but I feel like this type of idea, it's a little mellow and I see why the performance may not be there with this particular release. At the end of the day, I do smell similarities between this and the Baser uh, from the same brand, which I recently sniffed and actually unboxed. I feel like Debaser is your fig coconut summer scent, while this one is your coconut sandalwood spring and fall scent. Um, it's a very quiet scent on my skin, honestly. So depending what you're looking for, be forewarned about that. The performance is a little lacking for me. At the end of the day, you know, ignoring the performance, and again, it has good performance. Like, it's not excellent, it's, it's there. It's okay performance, and it could be a deal breaker for some people. For me, I feel it's, it's good enough. Now to me, this fragrance is an excellent sandalwood and should be in the talks as one of the best simplistic sandalwoods of all time. And I know I'm pushing it a little bit. Also for coconut lovers, I'll be honest, I'd recommend take a sniff on this one too. Um, especially if you like sandalwood, cedar-based fragrances, um, this may be right up your alley as a, a combination of sandalwood and coconut going together. Durga continues to impress. And that's the one thing I, I need to say in this video. This one is solid from the brand, even though it kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the way Debaser was made, but with different things. Um, I feel like there's a little bit there, but it may lack in personality. And that's one thing. It's not a fragrance that wows me. Uh, you know, straightforward sandalwood fragrances are, are good, but they're not wow. They, they don't have wow factors. They don't have that personality to me. Um, but I do like a good sandalwood scent, and this is one of those. Uh, but it is one of the most beautiful blends around a gorgeous sandalwood note that I've seen. Um, so that I have to give it kudos for. So now that I have to give it a score uh, through sampling samples, I'm gonna give this one a solid eight bottles out of 10. I don't think you could do, you know, there, there could be other notes that could go well with the sandalwood, but I think the coconut sandalwood combo, the cedar back in a little bit, um, if I had that little bit of intrigue with that copper wire burning uh, that some people get, that might have brought it up to a nine because more of an interesting note. So I'm gonna have to look forward to that. I might get another sample. Um, I'm definitely gonna be trying this one out, but eight bottles out of 10, a very strong eight bottles out of 10. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Please let us know what you think about Radio Bombay. Are you in that section uh, for me, you know, a strong eight or maybe even higher? for you or do you think this is a pass because maybe performance issues or you think you already got your staple sandalwood and this one is kind of redundant. Um, I really like that coconut sandalwood. I think it'll work really well in you know, late, late spring, early summer for me. So I'm looking forward to that. As always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube.